What are they doing? Able-bodied adventurers. Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. Uh, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh... I hired men to investigate. To just investigate, that's all. Those Banuke are canny. Too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. It's on the edge of Banuke land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well, you can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. This has to be the Banuke camp that Vilgen told me about. So what happened to the other mercenaries he sent? The machines are docile. It's like they've already been overridden. Greetings, Nora. I am Tikuk. Shaman. I've... never seen anything like this. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban-Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be before they grew angry. I... I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing and we listen to the machine songs. Do you mind if I look around more, Tikuk? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. So it's not the Banuke that are doing this. There's something about this place. They can't see it, but maybe my focus can. There, signal. And the source is at the top of the mountain. I better look into it. Bone talks are just ready. A good sign, I guess. Jumping shard purses! You can't just did Vilgen send you. Oh. Your shards can buy a conscience. <laughs> Never mind that. Nora girl, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up here. Uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for auction. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. We tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. Let's stop them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's a fair appraisal. No room. What the rope slip for? You bunch of What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banuke. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. 
Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All you've ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic malfunction. This is from long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. I have to get back to the camp. Before the machines tear it apart. No. They've already started attacking. The machines are angered. Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Do what you must. Yes, you feel it. Roar and rend at me. I don't fear it. Now you'll hear my song, machine. A sharp song. The hunt is back. It was only a side effect. He's not going to be happy about this. Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Asaram thought. The Asaram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us. Between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone. And we are left with many songs but more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say, the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day, we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, Teacook. Adventurers, Outlander, are you looking for? Wait, I know your face. <laughs> you came back. <laughs> How did we fare? Expensively. That's what I was afraid of. The tame machines. It's hard to explain, but there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here, take it. The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? What do you want? Carja silks? Ah, hoisted on my own purse strings. Nora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. 
Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sunring? Uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander. Then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices. Not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds his breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. If I could help, what must be done? The first pilgrim is an Asaron, who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Glindhawk's perched there, drawn to the spire's shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. This must be the Shrine of Kings that Naman told me Every time I go near the statue, he shouts at me. Osram slaves serve that to We deserve to have a look. It may have been meant for the Mad Sun King. Every time I go near the statue... You won't get in there. That dried up old prune in a robe sees to that. I can be persuasive. But what does an Osram want with a Karja shrine, anyway? It reminds me of someone. Gone two years now. But what does a girl like you know of loss? Try me. I had a lover. Worked on monuments to their bastard king. Then he gave them a show in their sun ring for good measure. The Karja gave me back his broken bones, but what use are they? They won't build again. They won't make me smile. And seeing a statue of the Mad Sun King will? I, I need to see his work again. The marks his hands carved. The set of the metals they hammered. That's the soul of him. But that shriveled up old priest won't let me near it. I'll see what I can do. Turn away, child. The abiding Jahaman wishes to be alone in his retreat. If you want to be alone, go someplace else. Others want to pray here. Defile it, you mean? Yet another debasement of what was once pure. Truly, our tribe has lost the light. Our king is false, our temple is corrupt, and our soldiers weak. The sun hastens across the sky for shame. So the Karja have become impure? What does that even mean? Is Meridian not meant for those who built it, who made it great? It was pure before outlander squatters took it over. You mean Meridian was pure when the outsiders were in cages or dying in your arena? The sun is pure, child. It is not our place to question its divine will, only to act upon it. I'm done arguing with you. Stay or go, but I won't allow you to keep others away. I am here by the will of the sun, If you won't accept change, you should try to make peace with it. Your bitterness has poisoned you. I have no need of your pity. I wasn't offering it. But if you step aside, you can keep your pride, since it's so important to you. 
There'll be a reckoning. You'll back away from it. You can tell Ursa's death has been tough on poor Aaron. But he's trying to hold it together. Max on life. Can't get a wink of sleep. Not my bed from a car jump. Just on the bed. It's too damn soft. He gave them the best work he'd ever do. And look at it now. They defaced it because they hated what it stood for. They defaced a thing slaves like him lived and died for. Slaves they've already forgotten. Short-sighted bastards the lot. If they thought their son set off this bridge, they'd jump after it. I thank you for honoring my wish. I hope you can find peace. I wouldn't know what to do with it, any more than the Karja do. You're going to leave the vanguard now, Aaron. The boys have drunk in wrecks and... hunter than I. I'll paint the mark while the spirits of the Glinthawks linger. There'll be more where they came from. Yes. There will always be more machines. Their spirits find new bodies, but we only last as long as memory. That's why I must leave this story. A monument to our vanished shamans, To the wisdom the Karja bled from us. The machine oil in the paint will preserve it. Preserve their memory against all that was cut away. You have my thanks, Hunter. This is where the Otaru wanted to say her goodbyes. When we fled from our cages during the liberation, I tore through this clearing, thinking my friend was behind me. I kept running, but he 
here she remains. Thank you for making it safe for me to return. I don't want to rush you, but it won't stay safe for long. I understand. I've done this before in waking dreams. In the pool, I'll find the bracelet of seeds she dropped when she fell. The seeds will be split, escaped, grown wild. She's passing from my memory into the jungles. I'll tell her it was I who died here and became a stranger in our own land, and she who still lives in every time of planting, of rains, harvests, and... Oh. What is it? There. Her bracelet. And... I thought she was behind me. But there's only my reflection. Do you need to be alone? For the first time, I am. So you've come back to the temple. I was invited back. The priests wanted to hear what I had to say about reconciliation with the other tribes. They're listening. At least they've begun to listen. There's a distance between ears and deeds. Because of what we did? What you did? It was for the mourners. I think it helped them. You set them on the path. You can't know what their journeys hold. Such is the priest's lot. Perhaps a red robe would suit you. <laughs> Not me. Besides, your temple doesn't even take women. We would be richer if we did. Go in light, my friend. And let the sun cast your way. Thank you, Naman. Where I'm going, I could probably use all the light I can get. You there! Can you help me? Just a moment of your time, sun and shadow. You're the Nora who saved the Sun King. They say you tracked the Asaram assassin with your second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see? Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. Broke the lattice on the way out. And some blood, drops of blood, leading away. No blood. I'm still on the trail. Still more blood. The thief got cut. The trail ends here. But someone must have seen the thief. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. 
Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. If I got my hands on dirt off, there wouldn't be. Sometimes you just have to sit back, take a breath. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. But all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. Guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner, Nassan, disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. There's a guard under the last king. Spark. A fork. This must be where Nassan was supposed to check in. Like there was a scuffle here, but no body. If someone dragged this on off, there should be tracks. Oh, here we are. Let's see where they went. Shadow Karja outpost. Let's hope Nassan is inside. Hardly a hit! Oh! Not that one! <laughs> Get it together, you shot off! Stay on the move or perish! Here's my soul. It's worse. Uh, uh, Make this uh, 
Crush the enemy! Uh, Radiant Edaman! Uh, what you got? Tomorrow. Son, all right. He needs help. All survive. this to my foe! Kinji, you've sent me. Let's get you out of here. I thought that old salt had abandoned me. <laughs> Guess I owe him a slap on the back. Come on, this way! them soon enough. Kindeev told me about the cause. Did you lose the shipment? No. It's hidden nearby. There's a lot of hungry people in Sunfall that will be happy to see it. Good. Now, listen. When you head back to Meridian, talk to a noble named Ravon. If you're honest with him, I think he'll help. Beg a high blood for help? Ugh. But after everything you've done, I can't refuse. But for now, I'm bound for Sunfall. Be safe. A man named Nassan came to see me, and we came to an arrangement. I think many in Sunfall will benefit from it. All this from a stolen sword. As they say, follow the shadow, and you'll find the flame. Get so close to the sun. And show was better last week. It's you! The one who saved Meridian from that Osram lunatic! <laughs> Damned if you aren't a ray of sun on a dark day! Will you help me? If I can. What happened? Mass murder! That's what. Five night guards shredded like cabbage out there in the quarry. I know what killed those men. A machine that attacks from underground. It's called a rock breaker. An underground killing machine. Great. What in the name of the sun am I supposed to do about that? Just sit tight. This kind of thing is my specialty. I've seen this four times already. Wonderful!
I've never seen a machine like that. Woo! Nor a hunter so bold. Take this. It's from the quarry stores, but no one's gonna argue that you don't deserve it. May you walk in the light, friend. Especially when dealing with what comes up from the ground. You're in for a treat. It's quite a show. Mm. I waited for you. Time passing pulls the anticipation tight as wire. Ah, oh, how many has it been now? I don't keep count, Nil. Don't keep count? Sometimes I just don't get you. Are you like us, or a little different? Hopefully a little different. Mm, that's what you're gonna tell yourself. Shall we get started? Might regret this. Right here, you sod offs. I knew it was only a matter of time before an Osaram tried to kill the Sun King. These little moments are refreshing, aren't they? That could be the least creepy thing you've said to me. Ah, oh, that glimpse of yourself in their eyes just as the cloud of death passes across them. Never mind, there it goes.
Goodbye, Nell. I don't want to alarm you, but the bandits are thinning out. Makes you wish you could kill them more than once, doesn't it? No, once is enough. You're right, of course, once is enough. When you really make it count. Okay, goodbye, Nil. My family might still be alive, and you're going to stand here and do nothing? Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. You're that Nora who saved the Sun King. You'd help my family? Oh, but it may be too late. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines. Vicious machines attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. I'll see what I can do about the estate. You will? Oh, thank you. Oh, please, be careful. Those machines are deadly. Lucky that the Nora was there to the... This must be Ronamon's family estate. Machines attack without warning. Thank you. I didn't really believe anyone was coming for me. I think everyone else is dead. Stay here. I'm gonna have a look around. I will. I need to take a moment with my father. That device is sending out a signal. Could be what attracted the machines. Okay, that should cut the signal. But someone put this here to call on the machines and kill everyone on the estate. found a lure. I think someone might have put it here deliberately to draw in the machines. Did your father have enemies? <sighs> Ranaman. My brother. <sighs> First there was gambling, then stealing, then extortion. <sighs> he swore vengeance when my father kicked him out. <sighs> it was Ranaman who begged me to come. 
He needed the machines cleared out to claim the property. We can't let him. <sighs> that murderous snake. You can't let me do what, sister? Claim my inheritance? We shared a crash, murderer. Have you no honor? Oh, I guess not. But I will have this estate. When you meet father in the next life, tell him I'm enjoying his money. As for you, this little device will summon more machines. A lot easier than killing you myself. They saw me. I'm glad there are good people like you in the world. It helps to make up for scum like my brother. My father was always generous in his gratitude. A family tradition I would like to continue. Take this. I hope it will help you in your travels. Thank you, Dave. These goods. Check out these wares. I've got all the best goods. I barely turn a profit even in the best of times. Especially since I usually hand out what I can to those in need. Would you care for some fruit? Better enjoy it before someone runs off with the rest of it. Has someone been stealing from you? Yes, almost every night. Not enough to force me to close shop, but definitely enough to hurt. I know how to track. I could look for the thief. Really? Thank you. You could start in my storehouse by the river. Someone must be desperate. To steal rather than just ask me. I'll see what I can find. Mr. Law, he tried to kill this. <sighs> I'll sleep well tonight. King of Odd sent spies to Pharaoh's been in the recently. clutches of the Shadow Carja. Here we go. Tracks.
spoiled fruit. The rabbits seem to like it, though. Oh, look. The thief dropped more fruit for me to follow. If I can see it in all this grass. Is this the last of the fruit? Okay, Boars, out of the way so I can have a look. Trail of footprints this time. Up. Father, son, forgive me, forgive me. There's our thief. And he's in trouble. Be anything in the trees. You're sharp, Aloy. Thank you, Savage! You saved me from the Sun's judgment. I did what now? I left the misery of Sunfall not long ago, knowing that I'd never be welcome back in Meridian. So, I've been stealing food from a woman 
at Bright Market just to survive. But the Glint Hawks must be the judgment of the sun. You believe it attacked you because you were stealing? Why else? What if I beg forgiveness from the lady? Will that absolve me and save me from the Glint Hawks? I took care of the Glint Hawks, but yes, you should return and apologize. The woman you stole from is kind. She'll forgive you. The sun has spoken! Thank you again, Savage. May the sun light your way! <sighs> Great. People finally stopped calling me outcast, and now it's Savage.